Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. In today's video, we are reviewing this uh, cool documentary, Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you here again. As I mentioned in today's video, we're going to review this cool documentary, Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. Um, a brief sort of plot storyline about this one is it's basically kind of just talks about the kind of history of Kung Fu from the early 60s in Hong Kong, sort of basically up to today. Um, I'll read you a little bit off the back of the DVD cover here. Iron Fist and Kung Fu Kicks explores the influence of Hong Kong's martial arts cinema and how it's shaped filmmaking from Hollywood to Uganda. Featuring Hong Kong legends, performers and cultural commentators, this documentary takes you on a non-stop ride from the early days of martial arts movies with the Shaw Brothers to Hollywood blockbusters like The Matrix. That's just a quick uh, description here of this one. So just some technical info about this release. This is true Umbrella Entertainment based in Australia. It's a 2019 release, so only last year. Uh, the feature itself runs 108 minutes long. Aspect ratio is 2.35 to 1 scope. So you're going to get those black bars top and bottom of your screen. This features a nice Dolby Digital 5.1 surround audio track on this. And I will mention that this is a Region 4 DVD release. So cast and crew on this one, Orin Fist and Kung Fu Kicks. Uh... The director is Serge Serge O, Serge Oui. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, he is the director. Um, they're not really much of a cast, you know, with documentaries, they talk to a lot of people. So there is, um, there's a bunch of different people that he talks in here. Historians, uh, film programmers, stunt performers, martial artists, actors, actresses, distributors, directors, sound designers. Uh, you name it, they pretty much talk to anybody and everybody in this documentary. So artwork for this release, pretty cool. Uh, there's a bunch of martial artists here on the front cover. Um, and you get that nice kind of font there. The Australian rating, I will mention this is a 15A over in Australia from the producers of Electric Boogaloo, The Wild Untold Story of Canon Films. That's a great documentary also if you haven't seen that one. Um, back art has a nice sort of film strip uh, with some stills from the documentary and stuff. The description, everything else you need to know is on the back there. Inside the disc artwork is just the same as the cover artwork uh, just on the disc there um, really cool I like this I like this artwork it sort of fits the uh, what the release is uh, nice nice job by Umbrella Entertainment here on this one so audio and picture quality for this documentary it does feature a lot of like behind the scenes footage archive footage photos and um, talking heads of the new sort of shot footage for the documentary looks good and um, no complaints really well even for a dvd uh, i watched on my 4k player on my 4k tv and um, looks really nice even the archive stuff looks pretty decent and then um, yeah nice sound mix on the 5.1 dolby digital surround track as well no complaints on the audio or picture quality for this one so just a couple of notes about this documentary here. Now, Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks. Um, as I mentioned, they kind of talked to uh, a bunch of people. Um, I didn't make a list of who they were, but uh, just some other kind of uh, notes of interest that I sort of uh, took down while I was watching this one. As I mentioned, begins early on in the 60s in Hong Kong with the Shaw Brothers and Shaw Studios, all that sort of stuff. Super interesting. Um, they kind of uh, they talk a little bit about everything. What I'm going to do is... Um, I'll give you some notes and I'm going to list off uh, kind of some actors, actresses and specific movies that they talk about. But they kind of go, uh, they talk about a bunch of early 60s Hong Kong uh, movies here. And then they kind of sort of jump to the US and the yellow face era over there. Stereotypes, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Golden Harvest Studios comes into the picture then. That's talked about. Um, the death of Bruce Lee and the Bruce Ploitation era uh, after Bruce Lee's death. Um, Black exploitation and Kung Fu films being sort of uh, programmed together in the US. Um, connections to hip hop, breakdancing, parkour, the end of Shaw Studios, stunts and safety in Hong Kong, uh, how much that's kind of an issue. The VHS boom in the 80s and the 90s and then kind of into the digital age. So they kind of cover pretty much everything from the, the 60s up to now. Um, I will give you an idea of, I made some notes here, some of the main sort of actors that they discuss in the documentary are Cheng Pei Pei, the first uh, sort of heroine in the sort of Kung Fu martial arts movie. Bruce Lee is discussed for a, a good uh, section of the documentary David Carradine, Jimmy Wong Yu, Sammo Hung, Jim Kelly, Ron Van Cleef, Jackie Chan, Cynthia Rothrock, Don Wilson, and Billy Blanks, just to name a few of them in there. Um, 
movies I made an absolutely massive list of movies that they discuss or are mentioned in particular so let me just kind of try and fly through these One Armed Swordsman The Chinese Boxer Billy Jack The Green Hornet TV show Kung Fu The TV show The Big Boss Fist of Fury Way of the Dragon Five Fingers of Death The Queen Boxer Enter the Dragon Fury of the Dragon Game of Death Fist of Fear Touch of Death The Man from Hong Kong The Black Dragon Dirty Ho 36th Chamber of Shaolin The Deadly Art of Survival Seven Grandmasters Mismatched Couples Boxer from Shang Tung The Fearless Hyena Snake in the Eagle's Shadow Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars Yes Madam Blonde Fury The Magic Crystal Patty Ho's Hero Crime Story Fatal Termination China O'Brien, Blood Fist, Wheels on Meals, The Matrix, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Ong Back, The Raid, and Accident Man. They're uh, just some that sort of stood out to me during the whole documentary. So you're getting pretty much, as I mentioned, coverage of everything from the uh, the beginnings in the early 60s right up to current sort of day releases. Bonus content on this one. No bonus content, just a plain uh, vanilla release by Umbrella here. The documentary, as I mentioned, itself runs 108 minutes. So um, action-packed uh, full. So don't really need that. The, don't really feel that you need uh, some bonus features for this release. So final thoughts and rating on this release. Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks, the documentary from Umbrella Entertainment. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 4 out of 5. Really, really enjoyed this one. Highly interesting documentary, as I mentioned, starts with the beginnings of Kung Fu in the 60s in Hong Kong, uh, moves all the way through every, pretty much every area you could think of and lands up in the digital age or the current age of Hong Kong and sort of all the influences from early on the 60s up to now. Um, if you're kind of only getting into Kung Fu stuff, it's not one of my, it's not a genre I'm like overly familiar with. I, I'm into some Bruce Lee films. I have a couple of Jackie Chan things I'm not overly interested in. I know of some of the actors that we mentioned in here uh, earlier on, Sammo Hung and all those guys. I don't have a lot of stuff, uh, movies from mentioned in this documentary in my collection. But if you're looking to kind of get into this, this would be a perfect uh, introduction to kind of the history of Kung Fu films. And actually, you'll come away from this like I have with a massive list of of films and you want to check out stuff so yeah definitely uh, recommend adding this one to your collection 4 out of 5 for this one so when and where is this released Iron Fists and Kung Fu Kicks is available right now from Umbrella Entertainment I'll stick a link down in the description below so you can head straight on over to their website to order yourself a copy of this one it is a DVD only release and I will mention once again it's a DVD region 4 so just be aware of that before you go ahead and order a copy of this one that your player is compatible Okay guys, thanks for watching the video here on the Movie Vault. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Social media links have been up in this top corner if you want to give me a follow on there. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you on the next video.